rakati kubwa ilikuja hii tunataka tubadilishe katiba nobody can stop reggae oh lakini niliwaambia kwamba reggae itasimama kwa sababu we serve a living god nasikizeni eh, wa kristo ukisoma if you, ukisoma kitabu ya isaya kumi na mstari wa kwanza inasema ole wenu mnao tunga sheria sisizo za haki nyinyi mnao pitisha sheria za kunyima watu maskini haki yao Mutapa, mutajificha wapi adhabu ya Mungu ikiwajia Yeye mnanielewa Mnaamini Mungu ama mko <laughs> You know <laughs> the Bible teaches us that but those who know they are God wale wanaomjua Mungu wao watakuwa Yes eh ama namna gani Yes Basi niliona ati strategic plan ya hii wanajiita sju okoa sju nini at one of their strength at it is government support sasa mimi nauliza jana mimi nimejiuliza jana yani wewe ni opposition unataka kushika serikali mwaka ujao at one of your strength unategemea ni serikali na hiyo serikali ina retire 2022 august yani mimi niliona nikasema hata nikamwambia my elder son ukiniona kwa hiyo group I told my son last night ukiniona kwa hiyo group mwambie askari asinifungulie mlango I should be chased from this house you know Mungu lazima itatimia kwa sababu naibu wa rais ni jana tulikuwa hapa na nikakukumbusha katika Danieli kwamba inasema that he changes the times and the seasons he lifts up kings and he removes kings he gives wisdom to those who have understanding and knowledge to the wise kwa hivyo masaa na majira yakiwa ni ya naibu ya rais hata wafanye sama salt hata wakatae mambo ya kiamba hata washike waandani wa naibu wa rais mambo hayo yote yatatokomea na kwa ile lugha ambayo mimi naongea hiyo mambo yao tunasema ni kurugushu ku 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 yamebomoka kubomoka maombi yenu tunahitaji ya yeah? maombi tunahitaji more than ever muombe hii inchi mnaangalia vile maneno inaenda angalia wachagua kwa nini yako ndani kwa sababu ya kufanya campaign na kusimama ya kiabana wakashida na kusimama na deputy president sisi wenye tumevumilia tuliamua kama team Nairobi tutavumilia vita ikue vita izikue but tutasimama na nani tutasimama na deputy president na amesimama na sisi and i'm very sure pia nyinyi amesimama na nyinyi na kwa sababu tunataka tuweze kuendelea mzuri kama kwangu amesimama na kanisa i don't know how many times yeah na najua akiwa president anaweza simama na zote mara moja ama namna gani ama namna gani kineo tafadhali pamoja mnaweza kusimama pamoja if you are pastor are with other Churches, great. We are so so grateful. To get to na shukurana na pia na wakati kwa sababu ya mambo mengi yaliyoko mbele zetu na tupenda kuyatimisha. Ella and his wife Mary. We have Bishop Stephen Dong. Ya ndugu yetu askofu Karioki. Ibadah
Asante sana kwa majina yangu naitwa Agatha Regional Overseer Nyanza and Acting Regional Overseer Nyanza North Mungu awabariki If you are pastor are uh, with other churches great we are so so grateful to get don't worry because whatever that is happening ambayo mmesema juu ya mheshimiwa mwenye ameshikwa wengi watashikwa The Bible says in uh, I think John 16:33 that men are the tribulations but I've but I've warned you in advance that I overcame the world you shall overcome have peace my friend Your excellence don't fear this man has been demonized has been called names Hawa mahasla lazima wawe katikati ya mambo ya mjadala ya vile tunaenda mbele. Ama mnasemaje? Kuna wasee fulani wanasema tuendelee kuongea mambo ya viongozi, mambo ya vyeo, mambo ya mla mamlaka, mambo hiyo yao. Sisi tunawaambia hatuwezi kuwa tunaongea mambo ya vyeo na mamlaka. Lazima tuongee mambo ya uchumi ndio kila mtu yule ambaye hana kazi apate kazi yule ambaye hana biashara apate biashara ndio Kenya hii tuibadilishe kwa kubadilisha uchumi wanatuambia kwamba atatubadilisha katiba mnataka katiba ibadilishwe ama uchumi ibadilishwe mnasema katiba ibadilishwe ama uchumi wanatuambia atatubadilisha katiba ndio wapate vyeo ndio wagawane mamlaka na waendeshe mambo yao sisi tunasema tubadilishe uchumi ndio mtu ambaye hana kazi apate kazi na yule hana biashara apate biashara na mechanic ni mtu ya maana na mama mboga ni mtu ya maana na safari hii mujadala Kenya hii haiwezi kuendelea kama hatuongei mambo ya watu wadogo ah watu waache maneno bwana sijui kama tunaelewana Tunaelewana? Na vile nimewaambia tutabadilisha mjadala iwe ni ya watu mahasla. Mama mboga, mtu ya mkokoteni, mtu ya boda boda, makanika na hawa wengine wote. Kuna wanaume wengi wamekathirika na mimi. Sasa mimi nawaambia my friends, wacheni hasira. But nobody is obeying the laws nowadays. They don't obey court injunctions. Bado wamebomoa kanisa na wamerusha watu nje. So as much as we are looking to see what to do about that, even us we must fight for ourselves by putting the rightful people in the rightful positions. Jana na Juzi upande wa Embakasi West kule Molem wamelala wakibomolewa manyumba. I mean nyumba zimembolewa mpaka nimesikia uchungu. Because zingine zilikuwa nyumba mpya. I mean how can you tell me how did our good government watch houses being built and then they wake up and just demolish them? It is unacceptable. We need good leadership in this county and we need good leadership in this country. <laughs> tunataka amani. Na nchi ya Kenya ni yetu sote wakubwa na wadogo. Na hakuna yule ambaye Kenya ni yake kuliko yule mwingine. We are all equal sababu kitambulisho ni moja au pengine huduma namba ni moja. Whatever the case. Na kwa sababu hiyo ningependa kusema mambo haya au neno hili kwa wale ambao wanaamua maneno na wanapendekeza maneno jihadharini sana mnapopendekeza mambo yanayoweza kuharibu amani ya Kenya 
We want peace, and as a church, we are saying we want that coexistence, harmonious coexistence, peaceful coexistence. Ya all communities, ya watu wa inazote, bila kutugawanya. Tunataka sote tuwe wa Kenya moja. Kwa sababu hiyo mikakati na mambo ambayo mnaweza kuwa mkikoroga huko. Sisi kama wananchi na sisi kama watumishi wa Mungu twasema isivuruge amani ya Kenya. Kwa sababu kutakuwa na judgment itakayokuja na si mbali na sasa. Nasema hivyo kama nabii wa Mungu, si mbali na sasa. Mzivuruge amani. Let Kenya remain one and let this nation go forward and decide our destiny not some people deciding for us exclusively I so want you to pray for the president because you know the president we elected him and before we elected him God had, had anointed him to be our president but president wetu ako kwa mateka ma, ma sinyi mnajua nakata nataka tumuombee Whatever is happening in our country is really unfortunate. You saw today Rigathi Gashagwa was arrested. He's being arrested because of speaking his mind and because of politi his political position, which we don't want. Everyone should be led to be free in this country. Gashagwa should not be arrested because we won the Kiamba by election. He should not be arrested because he's supporting the deputy president. We want the freedom of choice and the freedom of speech to be respected in this country. And I want to believe that is not our president. It must be something else. So let us pray for ourselves. Let us pray for our country. And let us pray for our president. Thank you very much. So when you see some guys taking the mic and abusing our deputy president, you understand our war is not carnal. My request to you, church, is this time round, we have a very good opportunity to have one of our own. Na mimi tu nitawaomba kwa unyenyekevu niwaambie hivi. For a long time a church imekuwa ikijulikana kwa maombi. For a long time church imekuwa ikijulikana kwa fasting. But this time round we have to exercise our faith.